What's up guys, it's Matt Collins Jones here, also known as the D365 Geek, and today we are talking about Power Automate, we're talking about functions and expressions, and we're going to talk about the Create Array function. Now, I've covered arrays a couple of times in previous videos, uh, and this time we are looking at a function called Create Array. So in the previous videos I spoke about the function array, which allows you to create an array, so basically a piece of data um, in, in a certain format. Um, but this create array function allows you to create multiple objects, multiple elements inside of that array. So the last one just allows you to create a single, um, a single object or element inside an array. This one allows you to create multiple elements inside that array. So let's take a look at it. I'm in Power Automate. I've got my manual trigger flow here. I've got a text input and I've also got a number input. I then have a compose action down here. And if I scroll across and click our expression, I can scroll down and I can expand uh, conversion functions. Keep going down until I find the create array function. Here we go. So create array, and then it's got a couple of parameters here for object one and object two. They also have a, a, an ellipsis at the end as well, meaning that you can have multiple objects inside this. You don't need to be limited to two. It's kind of as many as you want. And the description reads, creates an array from the parameters. So you can essentially pass in as many objects as you would like, and it will create those from there. So if we click on create array, uh, and then we switch over to dynamic content, um, we can put the input, um, input, which is the text input. Then we can add a comma and we can also add the number input. So what we are actually doing here is we are creating an array with two elements in it, two different objects. We're creating one with text and one with number. These will actually show differently when we actually do this, but I'm gonna add them both in now so you can see what it looks like. And if I wanted, I could go in and add another um, element at the bottom that said, hey, um, so I put that in single quotation marks, so that's going to um, interpret it as a string. Um, alternately, if I wanted to add a number in, I could just add the number 65 to the end, no quotation marks, and that'll, that'll interpret it as a number in this array. And we'll see what this looks like. So we'll click OK. You can see it updates the compose box, and we'll test this out. I'll follow the trigger action, um, and then I'll put something like uh, Matt, my name and we'll put in the number four and we'll run the flow. Click done. So we run this, we get these two outputs from here and then we will look at the array. So this is what I meant about everything uh, looking slightly different. So you can kind of see this highlighted in red and green um, but you'll also notice some other differences. So the mat and the hay are strings, so those have a double quotation mark um, around each one of them to denote that they are a string. The numbers do not require this because we're not interpreting them as a string, we're interpreting them as numbers, and therefore they are green and they don't have quotation marks around them. So in this array, it is showing you the difference between numbers and uh, and strings meaning that if we need to filter this array or we needed to send it somewhere else the target system or you know was sorting this or filtering this would be able to filter on either a string value or a number value in this array which should you know be things like um, you know if it's greater than this it's less than this um, if the string contains so many characters etc um, we can do all those sorts of functions based on the fact that these are inside quotation marks and it'll be treated differently by other programs or Power Automate when we come to filter them. So yeah, so there we go. So we can add we can add strings and we can add numbers in. You can add them from inputs, you can hard code them, uh, anything you like, um, Power Automate will, will handle as long as you're getting that, that syntax right, so the commas between them. And there we have it. Um, I think this is really useful. Um, I think this will uh, especially help with a lot of integrations. But as always, I always like to know what you guys are using these things for or what you plan to use these things for. So let me know in the comments down below. Um, if you like this video, please like and please share it with your friends. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel if you've not already. And I'll see you next time.